Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these interactive panels where you can click to reveal and then click to hide. So let's jump straight into it. So we'll start with a blank presentation. We'll go to File, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. I'll now quickly paste in the colors I'm going to use. And then the first thing we want is a square. So we click rectangle, click anywhere and set this to five by five centimeters. And for the shape fill, I want to use the eyedropper tool to pick up the light blue color I've got and set the shape outline to no outline. Now to create the nice effect that I used on the squares underneath, I'm going to use two triangles. So we'll click on triangle, click anywhere. I want to set the height of this to five centimeters. For shape fill, I'm going to pick this mid blue and shape outline none. I want to align it with the bottom left hand corner of this square. And to do that, we can go to align, align left, align, align middle. Now I can pick up this side handle and drag it so it snaps to the corner. Then click on this little yellow dot and drag it all the way to the right. I now want to make another copy of that. So while it's selected, I can press Ctrl D to duplicate. Then go to Arrange, Rotate and choose Flip Vertical. Arrange, Rotate, Flip Horizontal. Now I can pick up the colour from the eyedropper tool, which is this middle colour here. And finally, select the light blue one underneath and then go to Arrange, Align Left and Arrange, Align Top. Now I can group these, so I'll select both of them with Shift Click and Ctrl G to group. And now we have our panel that we're going to use underneath. I'll just quickly add the icon, insert, icons. I typed present and pick this. We'll drag it into position. Hold down the corner handles to make it the size you want. And I want it to be white. I'll make sure it's aligned. That looks good. We'll select all of it and Control G to group the whole thing. I'll add my text to this one in my example I used pop-ins for the font bold and for this part of the text I made that 32 and this 20. Now let's add the interaction I found the best way to create something like this is to create one that works perfectly and then duplicate it it's a really simple and quick way of speeding up this process so firstly we'll select this light blue panel Go to animations and add the animation we want. And I actually added two animations, which were a fade. So we'll click fade and then we'll click on it again and choose add animation to add this emphasis, which was a pulse. Now we go into the animation pane. I want to make sure that the pulse happens with previous. So we'll just quickly check that. Looking good. Now let's add the triggers to make it interactive when you click on this panel. And before we add the interaction, it's a good idea to name this panel so we know what we're working with. So if we click on it, then go to Home, Arrange, and choose Selection Pane, you can see the names of the different elements on the screen. So this one that we've got selected, I'm going to call Panel. And this one, when you click on it, you can see it's called Rectangle 7. But if we click here, we can call it Light Blue. So now we go back to the animation pane. I make sure these are both selected by holding down shift and clicking or clicking on the element itself on the page, which will select them both, right clicking, choosing effect options. Then we go to timing, triggers and say start effect on click of and choose panel. You'll see that now puts in the word trigger and panel which means that as soon as we click on this, these effects happen. So if we run that, click on that, it reveals. Great. Now we want to add another trigger, which is to click on this and remove it. So to do that, we can click on this panel, add another animation. It's very important we go to add animation and don't click up here, otherwise that will replace the animation and choose fade as an exit animation. And to add the trigger to this, we just click on the exit animation Right click, effect options, timing, triggers, and say start effect on click of light blue. So now when we run this, we can click to reveal it and click to remove it. Now I can right click on this, say bring to front and drag it in front of this. Now when we play, click to reveal and click to hide. Brilliant. 
Let's just quickly duplicate these to make the 9 and make the changes to the text. So I'll hold down Ctrl and zoom out slightly. Select both of them by holding down my mouse and dragging over the top. Putting it roughly into the position I want and pressing Ctrl D. Now if I drag it and let the smart guides appear, when I next press Ctrl D, it will be in exactly the right place. And I can do that again with these three. Ctrl D, drag to the position I want. And press Ctrl D again. Now when we run it. Excellent. So we now need to center all of these. But we can't group them and ungroup them, otherwise they'll lose all their animation and triggers. So a quick tip here is a good way of centering things like this. It's just to draw any square or any shape on the page. Then align that to the center of the page. Then you can pick all these up and hold down shift and just align them. The same applies if you want to center it vertically on the page. We can draw a panel there. Align that to the middle, then pick up all these and just hold down shift and drag them down. That's a really great hack for centering something without having to group them and then lose all the animations. So I could quickly write different things on here. Then we can run it. And we can now click to reveal any of these and click again to hide them. We'll quickly add in our background. Format background, we can add anything for this. I just went to stock images. I typed blue texture and pick this. Great. And you can use these triggers to add any sort of animation to any slide or presentation. They can be a great way of involving your audience and keeping engagement on the slides. If you want to pick up any of the source files that I've used in my recent tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.